Hello everyone, my name is Trisa of Chapstick and Succulents and in today's video, let's do some succulent unboxing. Aside from unboxing my latest succulent haul, we will also talk about a successful succulent shipment versus a failure. This is a successful shipment. And obviously, this is a failure. What went wrong with the shipment? As a buyer, can you imagine receiving this kind of shipment and paying for it? It's very frustrating. But for sure, any seller wouldn't want this to happen. Sellers often want to deliver an excellent service to make their customers happy and satisfied because it saves them a lot of time dealing with complaints and negative feedback. But unfortunately, a bad shipment like this can happen, especially if the shipper is not very careful. This video is sponsored by Best Va Grow Lights. If you grow your succulents indoors and in need of some grow lights, check them out. The link is in the description below. Now, let's take a closer look at these shipments and see the difference. This one was a total mess. Well, this one is great. This one was shipped with the soil and the other bare root. Wait, does this mean that you cannot mail succulents with soil? Of course not. You can mail succulents even with the soil, provided you have to make sure that the soil is bone dry and the plants are completely dry too. Even a slight moisture inside a clothes box can possibly harm your plants, especially here in the Philippines where it is so hot and humid. If you've been growing a lot of succulents and you are ready to turn your hobby into a business, and expand your customer's reach by shipping nationwide, or if you just simply want to mail some to your friends and family, watch and learn from this video so that you'll avoid making mistakes when shipping these plants. To keep the plant safe during transport, remove as much soil as possible as it is safer to send them bare root than with the soil. Aside from the fact that some shipping companies would not accept shipments with soil, including the soil poses a higher risk on the plants getting destroyed during transport. Not to mention the mess it can cause when the soil gets spilled over. Make sure the plants are thoroughly dry. This is very important. If you are going to ship the succulents, make sure the plants are thoroughly dry before you pack them. Sometimes after removing the soil, even though the roots are already dry, if you have succulents with leaves that are so bloated with thinning cuticles, these leaves can easily get damaged inside a box during transport, and the moisture may leak from the damaged leaves. It can cause wetness inside, which you do not want to happen. To play it safe, air dry the plants for 10 days or more. The longer, the better, especially if you have well-watered succulents with bloated leaves. As the plant is air-dried and does not have access to moisture, it will slowly consume its stored water and may even become dormant. When it is dormant, it will stop its metabolic activity and shift to conservation mode. You then won't see much changes in the plant. Allowing the plant to become dormant is the safest way to transport them. In that way, they will keep their compactness and will not elongate even without enough lighting for days. I tell you there are many Korean shipments transported internationally, which may sometimes take more than two weeks in transit, yet remain intact because the plants are dormant. And imagine this one here took only three days. Aside from ensuring that the plants are dry, wrap them in absorbent materials like tissue paper. In that way, excess moisture, if there is any, will further get absorbed and it will also keep the rosettes clean. It's your additional layer of protection. Never wrap the succulents with non-absorbent materials like plastic. See this one? 
I believe another mistake the shipper made was wrapping this box with plastic. It added more insult to injury. Another way to make sure your plants are safe inside is to shorten your shipping time. Find a courier that can deliver the plants in the shortest time possible. Now, we've talked about what the shipper needs to do to ensure safety when shipping the plants. But it does not end there. As a buyer, there are a few things you need to consider as well. So first, you need to be patient. Of course, we are too excited of our order and we want to see them right away on our doorsteps. But with succulents, you need to be more patient. Properly preparing the plants is needed to ensure their safety because usually after you pay them, there, you have to give time for these plants to be uprooted and have the soil removed. Then it takes more than a couple of weeks to get them thoroughly dried. So do not rush the shipment. Then you have to keep an eye on the delivery dates. Make sure you or someone else is at home to receive the shipment because the first thing you need to do when receiving the plants is to open the box and allow them to breathe. When you get the box, open it as soon as possible. The succulents we see online are often very colorful, but expect that the plants can fade over time because after uprooting and air drying, they are no longer exposed to the full sun. And with several days more inside the dark box, they will fade further. But you can achieve the colorful result again once you stabilize them and expose to the full sun once they are fully adjusted, as long as your location is ideal for them to achieve their beautiful colors. What if you do not have the time or materials to plant them yet? Don't worry, just open the box and take the plants one by one and unwrap them. Remove any mushy leaves if there are any and place them on top of the table or tissue paper it came with. But what if when you open the box and you receive a shipment like this? Take a picture, including the box, and the status of the plants inside. Contact the supplier right away and ask if they can send you a replacement. If the seller is a legit seller, you get a positive response. And you could also save some good ones. Place them in a cooler, well-ventilated location and do not water them. Keep the soil dry as much as possible. It might take a while for the plant to adjust and recover, but there is still hope. You'll be surprised by how resilient these plants are. On the other hand, if you receive a nice shipment like this, enjoy it. You can air dry further or if you have the time, you can plant right away. Now when you air dry, find a cool, well-ventilated area but protect them from direct sunlight and from the rain. Also, avoid air drying in closed spaces like indoors if you live in warm and humid locations. Otherwise, if they are looking wrinkly, you can plant right away and water. You will see they will look healthier the next day or two. I hope you learned a few important tips today, and for those living in the Philippines, I have some good news for you. The tweezers for succulents and the gardening scissors, and also my book Water Me Next Week, A Succulents Plea, are now available on Shopee at discounted prices. Check it out, the link is in the description below. Take care everyone and enjoy growing succulents.